Fish Keepers, Cam here from the fishroom.co.nz and today we're talking about the New Life Spectrum Gel Mixes and the New Life Spectrum Domix. So because it makes the most sense, I'll be comparing this to Rapashi all the way through. It makes the most sense because both of them are a gel food uh, and both of them are available in New Zealand so there's nothing else to really compare to. So first and foremost, uh, dollar for dollar is pretty much identical for what they're retailing for off the shelf. Um, Per gram per dollar it's pretty much the same so that's a, a tick I think Rapashi is a very well um, priced product and I feel that these in our less products are going to be exactly the same really well priced uh, ingredients wise I think they're actually really good uh, everything in it is, is pretty helpful pretty handy there's a pretty good nutritional breakdown on the back of them which I think is also fantastic um, I really like this algae mix I think this algae mix is actually fantastic uh, the ingredients in it, the amount of different types of algae, different spirulina, all that kind of stuff, is really, really good. This is a massive thumbs up for this one. And your general dose, and your general um, gel mix, ingredients wise, absolutely nothing wrong as well. Really good quality products, no issues with what's inside of the containers. Container size is 120 grams, I also think is really, really good. Um, I think it's quite a fair size, 120 gram. Uh, a little bit bigger than the Rapashi. Rapashi is 85 for their smallest container. However, they do not have bigger containers, so that's where they might miss out on a little bit of uh, added value. Generally speaking, the bigger the container you buy, the better the value they are. So they're just sort of your mid range, slightly bigger than your, your standard Rapashis, but smaller than the mid size one. But overall, I think the 120 gram is, is a pretty good size, so that's another tick for me as well. We all know that gel foods. Generally speaking, smell when you make them up. If you have ever opened a container of any list before, when you mix this up, it smells exactly the same. It doesn't smell pungent, it smells just like Inalis. Uh, I think Inalis smells quite pleasant as far as fish food goes. No dramas there whatsoever at all. Now we come to the actual mixing of the formula, and this is where my first uh, lot of issues became very apparent. The dough mix has the instructions inside the container. Put my finger inside the container and half of the container not quite half but a whole lot of container landed on my knee so it already spilt already wasted that really infuriated me so i pulled the instructions out the instructions were fine inside of it uh, the fact that it was in there and made a heck of a mess not okay with me i'm not the only person that's happened to i've spoken to other people that they've had to dig the instructions out of the container to find them and it's made a mess as well so that is an absolutely negative to that straight away and that's on the dough now Despite both of these gel mixes on the container saying that the instructions are inside it, they were not. So at this point right now, as I've opened the container, I have no idea how to mix this up. That's not okay either. I'm already frustrated that the container with the dough had the instructions in it and made a mess and now I've opened these two up and I don't have any instructions to make it up. That's not cool. As a general hobbyist, I think that's average. I've made up enough gel foods uh, now on my time to know exactly how to make them up or a decent idea. It's your first time around and you've opened this up and you've got no idea. That's really poor on NLS's behalf. Uh, that's definitely a Debbie Downer for me. An absolutely huge downside of this is how sticky it is. Like it's, it's actually not very nice to feed, feed out with your fingers, which is what I do with all gel foods. Sort of break it up in the, whatever container it is I've made it up with. Uh, it's just insanely sticky. Um, you've really got to wash your hands afterwards or rinse your hands up with the crayons and stuff afterwards like that. So that is a massive downside to me uh, as far as the product goes. I don't think that's overly cool. And this is where all the fun begins. I messaged the New Zealand distributor um, after reading the back of the packet because I was frustrated about not having instructions. And I discovered that both the gel mix and the dough mix are identical so they have the exact same ingredients list on them in the exact same order and they have the exact same nutritional breakdown on it but they're saying they are two different applications I then uh, emailed NLS direct and the lovely lady I spoke to told me that the only difference between these two is the amount of agar that is in the dough mix to the gel mix agar is the binding agent and it's such an insignificant difference that they do not change on the list of the ingredients. So if you don't know, the most main ingredient in any food is the top one, it trickles all the way down to the least, the least important or least prominent. These are identical, it didn't change, and it wasn't even enough to change the nutritional breakdown. 
What I do next? Well, I emailed for the instructions and I got the instructions sent to me. So I now have the instructions on how to make them. So I made them both up. I made them both as per instruction, I made them as per instructions for the other ones. And this is what happened. So I genuinely believe that these are identical products and they make up the exact same thing regardless of which way you do it. Uh, gel mix made with cold water, dough mix made with cold water, exactly the same ratios, look pretty much identical to me. I've now made these as per the gel instructions, we're using hot water. Uh, one teaspoon of mix to three teaspoons of hot water. They look almost identical to me. I do not genuinely think there is any difference between these products. They are just marketing them differently. The ingredients are the same. The mix ratios are the same. Wet to cold, sorry, cold to warm. Nothing different here. So it is my genuine belief that this product here and this product here are exactly the same, being marketed in two different containers. To me, that uh, is not okay. I, I think it's average. That's just uh, this company trying to get more money out of people, trying to use them as a different application. Why not have the instructions in the container to start with, but say, hey, you can mix it up with cold water and make it into a dough, or you can mix it up with warm water and make it into a gel. Not okay. Not cool. As for the fish eating it, uh, yep, they took it. They took it pretty easily. Uh, second or maybe. Third third feeding everything was going for it pretty easily so um, I'm happy enough with that um, not all fish know what gel food is so I'm happy enough with that didn't quite have that same initial pull as what uh, Rapashi does but it definitely didn't uh, take very long for fish to go for it so that's definitely a tick as well it was eaten pretty easily uh, good times there as for us here stocking it in the shop on principle I'm not going to carry the gel and I'm not going to carry the dough um, just on principle I don't, I don't like that sort of business tactics, I'm, I'm adamant they are the same product. I'm still waiting for uh, NLS to reply to my email, it's been now 10 days, I've emailed three times asking to completely clarify it and they have not. You take that how you will. As for the algae product, I love it. I'm going to be taking this on, I think it's fantastic. I've got no issues with this and it's absolutely going to be on my shelf. In fact, I've ordered some already and hopefully by the time this video comes out it's going to be available. This to me, absolute thumbs up, it's fantastic. It's definitely good. I'm in for this one. The general conclusion, um, the ingredients are fantastic. The price point is fine. I like the container size. It's easy enough to mix, albeit they did not have the instructions. I do not like the instructions being in a container of fish food, particularly powder. I think that's very average. Um, like I said, I'm not super sold on the dough and the gel. I'm, yeah, I'm not cool with that at all. Uh, if it was marketed differently or contained differently, then I would have no issue with it but it's not. Uh, the algae product I love, I'm going to carry that um, so I'll let you be the judge on, on everything else when it comes to it, when it comes to this range of, of gel foods. Hope you've enjoyed this, um, hope it gives you a different perspective and it gives you a few other things to think about when you're purchasing uh, gel foods. And um, that guys, have a good one, happy fish keeping, catch you later.
For finishing recording this video and editing and everything, I've had a response from a person I believe is the owner or the creator of New Life Spectrum and the Doze and that kind of thing. Um, he's responded to my questions and this is a direct quote from him. The regulation on labelling necessitated the sale of our products as two distinct items as they are not 100% identical in terms of ingredients. Additionally, based on my experimentation, it has been determined that boiling hot water is essential for preparing gel food correctly while room temperature water is recommended for dough preparation. In my personal opinion, if I perceive any attempts by the company to deceive or lack integrity, I would choose not to purchase their products. So that's a direct quote from um, the person that I believe owns, owns New Life Spectrum or has created New Life Spectrum. So basically the difference is uh, so minimal, but they had to do it for legal reasons. I still believe that, um, as you've seen from what I've made, you can make uh, the dough up with boiling water and it turns into the gel and you can make the gel up with cold water and it turns into the dough. So that's my opinion and that is the way that I have um, found these products to be. So take that as you will. Uh, it was nice to get a response from uh, somebody from your life spectrum in the end.